Hey, we're at the local Jacksonville card show. A few different goals that I want to accomplish today. Goal number one, I want to buy at least 10 to 15 slabs. A lot of people are liquidating stuff right now before the national and I'm going to find some opportunities. Number two in mind, I want to at least make five sales during the live stream. So I think I'm going to do it between an hour and probably two hours. We'll see how the show ends up doing. And lastly, I want to buy some boxes at the show so I can rip them live next week. I'm going to already be out around on this one. I'm going to send it to my friend up north. 50 on it? Awesome, I'll do 50. First deal of the show is for my friend Matt. He's a dealer at Boston. You saw him in the last video for Springfield. He asked me to look for some vintage Boston Hall of Famers and I found this for $50. That's the best thing, right? Probably five cents. That's a good margin for you. These right here. Buying stuff or? Well, you've, you've heard how many I've got coming in and going back, so. There's some vintage sprinkled some, around. But that's what these two guys are picking out, so. There's not a heck of a lot of it left. It's there. But you have to see that. But I mean, company seems all right. I like the game three, man. I don't know if there's enough in the world for three. I never buy anywhere you can just be I don't know if the hobby. This one of my best. Yep, always. I'll be interested to see if the hobby supports five or more. So while going through some bargain bins, I wanted to showcase some pretty cool cards that I hadn't seen before. The first one is this 1971 that is missing the black printing plate. Kind of reminds me of like the printing plates that are in modern cards today, but you can also look at the back and it was fully printed. Now I have a blank back, uh, I live in a rookie card from 71, but I've never seen one of these at a show that's missing color, so I thought that was kind of cool. The other card which I found was actually a Canadian football card. Obviously over here, football cards are crazy in America, everyone chases after the quarterbacks, but this is a three card panel all the way from Canada. I hadn't seen that before, so I had to share. What? This is stuff I collect. See, there you go. And then you can just crack it and be done. See? Not bad. I see anything else like that. And there's stuff you just want to like, go through some of the dealer stuff. I'll show you some stuff once I finish this. I've got to go through this stuff real quick. Because, like, well, I just set off. That's probably a that? Oh, this? Oh, it's a, it's a BGS 10 too. What are PSA 10s going for? I'm, I'm looking at uh, I didn't know what kind of order it was. What do you think you could do on these? Eleven twenty-five. About uh, five and a quarter. Is that right? Let me see more book. I mean, it's cheaper. What's in there? Make it easy at five. All right. Let's see. Oh. Right there. 
just picked up that 10 card lot for $500. Two of those actually go to Big Knox cards. He was going through the table, put them in my stack so we could end up getting a better discount working together on those. That was the Manning and also the Jersey Relic card. So only got the eight vintage cards in that stack, but either way, really cool stuff. Again, with like GMA and some of these off brands, I kind of look at it as like a plastic sleeve. Don't always trust the grades on them. Some cards in there will grade higher, some will grade lower. So I looked at just based on the condition and players that people want. Like for example, Mantle always moves. So that type of stuff is good to buy. Future Ryan here. Forgot to record it, but I wanted to give away this 1934 batter up. So put down in the comments down below, what's your oldest card? One random comment will receive this for free. So I often talk about companies like HGA making really obvious mistakes. I mean, they misspelled players' names on the labels. They put the wrong cards in there, like tons of issues. But this one was three errors by PSA N1. Kind of unique. I was talking to dealer that got this back after 20 months at PSA's headquarters. Now, first thing, it's the subjective part is how the card looks. Now, I examined this card. I have a pretty good eye for what something should grade. This is not a four by any means. Much sharper, should be a lot higher of a grade. Didn't notice any wrinkles in it as well. Sometimes your wrinkles can bring down a card to a two, three, or possibly a four, depending on how nice it is, or any ink marks people writing on the card as well. Second thing, manufacturer. This is not a Topps card. It's a Philadelphia. So two completely different manufacturers. It's like labeling a Topps card today as Panini. Completely wrong. The third is the year. This is not a 76 card. It is from 1965. So that's three mistakes on one slab, which is crazy to me, especially after waiting that long. So when the dealers here just announced that they're launching a brand new show in Florida, here's some information about it. Yeah, I'll have my first show next month in uh, Palm Coast. I'd like to see you there. Thank you. Take a look at the 61 barrel. Also, take a look at your Kofax. And then, can I take a look at the Nolan Ryan autograph? Right there. Yes. Hard to see in this glare. Ah, uh, definitely agree. It can be tough at times. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your service. I was young. You know, you can do anything right now. Yes, sir. Michael, tell you what I'd like to know. July 29th, I wanted to go to 60 years ago. Where the hell are that guy? Great. Hey. Thank you. So if I did these four, where would you be at? It'd be 445 total, then 50% of that. 222. Make it 200? Do it. Awesome. For $200, really two cards stand out to me. It's not the vintage cards, you can find them all the time at different shows. It's the dual heritage relic and also the Nolan Ryan auto. These dual heritage relics tend to be a little bit pricey compared to other relic cards. It was like a diehard collector fan base for those. So when you get a Clemente in there, you can't really pass that up. The other is the Nolan Ryan autograph. Obviously Nolan Ryan, a legendary pitcher and I'm named after him. So picking up all these at four for $200 was a no brainer. So ticket prices have been on the rise the last six months or so. Walk around the show, I found a pretty cool piece of memorabilia. No idea what it's worth, but it's a 1969 Montreal Expos, their first ever game. You guys can see the box as well as the tickets front and back. Okay. Just got here, any T206 cards? Yeah, actually, I'll take you back to the other room. There's some T206 over there. Six. 
that was the one I saw. Don't know if any other dealers had any Tito sixes on them, but we can double check to confirm. I think that was the only one though. You, you, you couldn't have done much worse. Yeah. We got this pennant. I don't know too much about this one. But kind of cool. Bill Dickey. It's pro, it might be American nut and chocolate. I don't know for sure. So this is what we're talking about right here, guys. American nut and chocolate. John knows. He, John's the expert on everything. Like <laughs> This guy's collection is crazy. Like one of the best on YouTube easily. Wish you could stick around, family stuff going on. You know what? I'm looking for 56 to me if you find anything. Absolutely, man. Uh huh. Johnson Cookie Matthews. Let's see. It's right on top. Oh, yeah. There it is. Here There's the Matthew right there. And you're the half off stickers, right? Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly? Yep. Yeah. So, half off sticker. We also have a spawn. Yep. Everything but just about everyone but Aaron. Aaron's not in here. It's, it's a near complete set. Besides Aaron, there might be a couple commons missing. 50 May's New York Journal. Yep, I yeah, bought I here. I bought one from him last time, but yes, this one has did. the hole on it. So, John, if you want the other one without a hole, I can send you that one. If not, we can. Yeah, get I only one got one more maze. That was it. That's yeah, because I got the one. I got the one. the nicer one. Yeah, <laughs> but John, I do have that if you want it. But yeah, so this is that Matthews. That side of things. So that'd be like sixty bucks, mm -hmm. give or take. There is a crease on it. You can see that right there, and there's some back damage. Let me know, and I can get his PayPal. And if you guys like Spawn as well, do fifty on that. Spawn would do, Sp do fifty on that. He said he would do fifty on that one. Spawn's oh, he said a, Spawn's a little discolored. He said this is from 1950. That, okay, on that one. See, he told you he'd know it. He's a, he's an expert on all that stuff. I do fifty on and then each of them. Fifty on spawn too. So if anyone wants the Matthews or the spawn, they are fifty each. Email me those so I can put it on my list, and then that way, I'm going around, I'll try to find it. If you're going to Nashville, I'll see you there. Absolutely, I mean, yeah, I'm going to Nashville. I can't wait for that show. So I'll be there Saturday and a little bit on Sunday. I really wanted to get there on Friday, but I have work, so I couldn't get off. Get some. Oh, we're gonna call it over. Hold on. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you were talking about this or not. All right. All right, so we got some heat over here. We got here. that heat. Check out that heat for the streets, huh? Right here. Don't play. Out of four. Don't play. Kaboom. Don't play. One of one. Don't play. Matt Jones. Red zone. On card. Don't play. Out of 25. Stop playing. You, I, don't, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Oh, <laughs> don't got the I ain't going to. Come oh, on. You ain't seen that like that. That's the sickest one you've seen. I ain't. Oh, Come on, he said, dang. <laughs> Come on. Tell him we're at the heat for the streets. There you go. Tell him stop playing Jacksonville, Florida. We here. <laughs> Good little content for you. Right oh, here. absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So there's yeah. that side of things. If you guys like some T laws. Oh, yeah. We got the T laws, man. That's such a cool patch right there. Is that one of those like sock ones or is that like uh, a the towel. Oh, towel? Yeah. yeah the towel. I saw the fabric on that. Sure. So some pretty cool Next stuff, time. guys. If you like some tea law, of course, you gotta go, Ryan. It's cool seeing you do no problem. See you next one. The most dealers have their Zions put up. What is everyone looking for? So, what have people been looking for at the show so far? Asking you, uh, for the most part, people asking about Fred Taylor. I think him being uh on the podcast and everything help him out a little bit. Um, and oh, most of it's just rookie quarterbacks. I don't, I didn't bring any basketball or baseball, but rookie quarterbacks, man, Josh man, Allen. I've every show I've been going to, like. Any dealer nobody puts out Josh has, Allen two seconds later, they're gone. Nobody, it's like nobody has a lot of Josh Allen, so it's kind of hard to keep up with. But yeah, yeah man, it's been a little bit of everything for yeah. sure. Awesome. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Not a problem, man. Nice meeting with you. Man. He's too. on the streets. He told y'all real quick now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. You recognize this, man? Flip over the side real quick. The original box. It's a pretty nice shape, also. So he's, he's asking, I think, 150 on it, right? Like I, I would do 150. I'm asking 175. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I, I would do 150. So if you, if you like that, Adam, let me know. I just I had to show it to you no matter what because I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah. 
All right, I'll ask him once he finishes it. Do you have some room on the Ortiz Pedro? Someone offered 200 for it. Yeah. You'll take it for 200. All right, Matt, we got a deal at 200. Let me get his PayPal and we'll get that situated. So, Matt, he has the first deal of the live card show, man. Look at that. If you guys want anything else, let's go through it. For the lot, let me ask real quick on the Yaz's real quick. All right, yeah, let me find out real quick. I'll go back right over. Say he's going to pass for now on it, but I appreciate it. All right, let me just go back over here. Back over there. I know you guys were at 30 each. Would you do 60 on the lot on those ones? Let's ask him real quick. Oh, let's ask real quick. Sorry. Yes, Ryan. We got an offer at 60 on the three houses if you're interested on it. For the three. Yeah. You're at 30 for each of them. He's at 60 for the three. Okay. Yeah, everyone's packing. That tends to happen to local shows. I mean, in two o'clock. All right, let me get your PayPal real quick. Perfect. Okay, so he accepted the deal, guys, at 64. So if you guys want any of the raw stuff over here, let me know. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Oh, uh, breakout cards. Gonna look through my stash here. We'll see what happens. Do a bulk deal for some vintage. I know you just picked up some mantles and some other stuff that came in from grading. So we're about to take a look through this. It's gonna take some time. All right, so we're gonna start going through the stacks. We're gonna put some cards off to the side. Obviously, you know, love mantles. So I'm gonna grab some of these type of cards. Super hot right now are the judges. Is he gonna hit 61 home runs? Let me know in the comments. He's, he's on track for it right now, and that'd be pretty iconic as a Yankee. We got the early 02 Granky. I picked up the 9.5 back at the, what was it? The, the Tampa show is like 300 tables, collector's con. Yeah, so that was a trade night deal, but you don't see these often. Granky, I think he's a lock for the Hall of Fame, especially what he's done. Another mantle here, 1958. Reggie Jackson. Other mantle. A Covey rookie. Another mantle. So I'm going to build out a stack, guys, and then we'll commentate over that when we start working on a deal. Percent, but mantles always move. We got a Reggie Jackson rookie, another mantle. Just super nice, unfortunately has a crease. And then the Whitey Ford autograph passed away, but still was a great Yankee legend. So you can't get on cards anymore. So we just made a deal for $800 on these five cards. First off, we have the Whitey Ford on card autograph, which is really cool. And we have a Mickey Mantle from 67. Beautiful sharp card, unfortunately. Don't know how the camera's gonna show it. There's a crease across the face, but still kind of presents like a mid-grade mantle. I got a awesome 1969 Reggie Jackson. Let's see how sharp that is. There's like an ink mark on the back or just a misprint or stain. Actually, I see it on the front here too. So I think that's the reason why it got low. It looks really, really nice. Then we have a 58 mantle. I just picked up a five. So this is the second one I currently have an inventory and also the 69 mantle. Not the white letter, the more common one, but still mantle stuff is always good to grab. So all that for $800. And that's a wrap for the Jacksonville card show video. Almost everyone has left. You can see the empty tables. Hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't seen last month's Jacksonville video, check it out there.